you, uh, I mean, I knew you were an, you were an emperor. Did you uh, did you associate with, with those guys the the, the the black metal community of the time? Did I, did I want mayhem? Those ones? And, yeah, mayhem and, and emperor. Oh yeah, sure. But I mean, you know, that that lasted for such a short time until everything got fucking absolutely just went fucking you know off the wall, didn't it? Mm. Um, so it wasn't really a lot of socializing to do after a while. But yeah, sure, I was hanging out with those guys. And how did the experience of, of, of leaving Emperor and, and forging a career for yourself and forging a direction? Um, it was weird because Emperor was, just, just as I was kicked out, basically um, because I had a bad temper at the time, and, which is never fun in a band, you know, somebody that's producing everyone. Um, they were just about to like get really big. That was it. Was all in the air. It was like we're just about to really uh, sort of you know explode or, or at least evolve a lot. Yeah. That was that was definitely something everybody felt. And uh, and so it's not it's not it's not like a great thing to get a phone call. Like, well, you know, when do you think you fit with the man? And uh, you know, in southern style as well. Yeah. He called me an American. He said, you know, you don't fit with the man. And. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, it's 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 a bitter little period, and then you got you kind of got to pick up your you know your whatever you got, pick it up, and, and just just um, you know carry on. And I did. Did you always want to to go your own way and, and you know? Well, I was I was in that I was in that mental place at the time where um, where Morris uh, was. If I was to have, have started a side project at the time, if I didn't, you know, if I hadn't left or been kicked out. I would have, you know, if I had to start a solo thing, it would have been like Mortis anyway. Because mm -hmm. that's what my mind was at, but if, you know, that really monotonous, dark, bleak stuff. So, it was a pretty natural thing for me to just do. It took me about a week after after that incident of being kicked out and, and uh, to sort of gather my, my mind and say, okay, fuck it, you know, let's just do something. Good. Yeah. yeah. So what, what is Mortis? Oh, is this a philosophical question? Yeah. Well, where did it come from? Um, when did you become Mortis? That was that was like before Emperor, I think. I actually took that because it was a big thing back in those days, like '91 or something, to um, to just have all these, you know, sometimes kind of ridiculous. Uh, little Artist names. Even if you were not an artist, I was I was doing little fan scenes at the time. You know, I was just you know print mags. Because back then there was internet didn't even exist. Yeah, yeah. Email was like fucking what's that? You know? um, I think I called myself Mortis Boy before I joined Emperor, and uh, I can't quite remember. I think I got it from some pen, pen pal of mine who was signing off his letters with some Latin phrase. It wasn't until years later I realized it was uh, it was misspelled. Because it's you know you're 16 or 15 and you think, wow, that's Latin for death. Yeah, yeah. That's like the coolest thing ever. I'm so fucking dark, you know. And uh, then you realize it's a fucking it's not even spelled right. But by then I, I was into my second album or something. By then it's it's you, you, you yeah. It becomes there's, that thing. there's no way you can't change it. It is what it is. I mean, on the new material you're working with, the uh, frontline assembly. Uh, yeah, he's right? going to yeah, uh, yeah. produce yeah. it. How, how is that kind of altered the way things are going? Um, yeah, he hasn't written anything. Basically, he's heard a bunch of demos. He made some suggestions. Um, you know, and and I think he has. Uh, I think he's going to add some really cool production values to the album. Yeah. But in terms of songwriting, I'm pretty much a Nazi. <laughs> um, and I think the rest of the band feels that way because, especially this time, I think this is the first time we actually get to rehearse a lot of the songs and then kind of get to know and feel good about them. Um, and when, when, when you reach that point, I think, you, you know, either you know it's going to work or you know it's not going to work. And so far, we feel it's going to work really fucking well. Uh, just uh, the question out of interest, uh, what kind of methods do you use so, like, uh, for your software and stuff? What software do you use? Um, I, th I think I use whatever most other people use. I use, like, you know, uh, Nuendo these days because I got this deal with Diverge uh, battery for drum programming and recycle. Um, 
Were you able to live for the uh, for live yeah. here because you can trigger your song? Yeah, it's yeah, fucking great. Yeah. Um, I had to like do that crash course in Ableton Live like two weeks ago before the tour <laughs> because we found out Nuendo was too heavy for the fucking laptop. Uh, okay. It was just causing all kind of leaks and, and yeah, we were rehearsing with, with Nuendo and the music would just cut out and we're like, what the fuck is this? And it was just this, you know, the CPU kept spiking and we were like, oh shit. And I realized I had, uh, I just remembered, wait a minute, I had Ableton Live. Cool. I use that sometimes to just really fuck with timing. Yeah. It's just really warp time. Just keep it within, you know, the, the four bars. Yeah. Same tempo, but you know, really cool to mix that up with other stuff. Other beats and this gets really strange and put tons of it's amazing for experimenting. And, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know what happens though. Yeah. I mean, you can't really. I'm not. I'm not at the level where I can totally control what happens in time stretching. I mean, that's just like. Whatever happens, happens. Really. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I, I, yeah. So I said, it's a variety of programs like that, and um, reactors sometimes. A lot of things are like fucking complex, confusing. Fucking Re the reactor is like an open-ended machine. I know you can design your own fucking effects and synthesizers, yeah. which I, 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 I'm not gonna do that. I'll just, you know, use whatever they have. Yeah, it's programming. I, I use the Junitic a lot because it's got this, this old role in it. Uh, it's a simulator thing, and it sounds fucking awesome. Um, but you know, I, I still like hardware a lot. Um, so my yeah, I use my Nord rack, you know, on my Waldorf. If I use curse files and, and things like that, um, I have an Oberheim, which I use way too seldom. Mm -hmm. I make just thousands. Um, it's got a lot of good sounds in it. I just almost never use it. I bought it and I forgot that I had it. Most of it stays, stays in the studio and you kind yeah. of you bounce everything down to audio and, and bring your. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Every, everything just mixed down to, you know, tracks. We, we, not, we can't bring that stuff, especially not on a tour like this, which is important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, we're kind of a little bit. And finally, do we expect anything interesting on stage tonight? Um, you're, you're usually on stage, you're quite an energetic, raw character. Yeah, it'll be energetic, I, I guess. Um, I guess. <laughs> um, but you know, when we support, we, we kind of we have to because we don't own the equipment. Yeah. I can't. I can't break it. <laughs> so we have to be less angry as well. Yeah. Or, or more, more, more contained. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Which is uh, it's a bit frustrating. Okay. Um, final few questions. Uh, what does the what does the witch smell like? Salty. It's, it's an old thing from my childhood, actually, where I, I it's, a, it's, a, it's a matter of associating one thing with the other. It was a straw witch that I saw at an exhibition, and it was a salty smell, and it was giving nightmares when I was really young. And for some stupid reason, I decided to write a song about it. Now it's really tacky. <laughs> We still have to sing it. <laughs> uh, I think it's a great song. I think. Uh, yeah, it's cool. I mean, you know, it's just, it's just extremely fucking cheesy as well. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good.